Hi everybody. Alright, so that piece of metal you see me working on there is going to be the mounting plate for the ELT that is directly behind the baggage bulkhead. So in the normal design of the plane, the ELT goes in the back, um, underneath the vertical stabilizer, and I guess in the middle of the webbing of the horizontal stabilizer. It's all well and good, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I wanted to move it up for two reasons. One, it's got a little alarm module that plugs into it. Uh, well, a, a mini alarm, right? So you can see on the left side of the desk there is the big orange ELT box, which is really cool. Uh, but it's got this tiny little orange connector. In fact, you know what? Here's a picture of it here. So that is the audible alarm for the plane. Not that there's anything wrong with it being back in the tail, but one, I would really like to have it closer so I can hear it going off. And two, there is a CG issue, which I've described before. So the bad scenario in the 14 is that two heavy pilots in the front... Um, wait, is it two heavy pilots in the front? No, it's one, one light pilot in the front, full baggage, and low fuel. You can get aft. Your CG can go aft. Uh, so I'm sort of moving that up from the very back to the front. I mean, it's only a couple of pounds, but because you're moving that arm like eight feet forward, that is definitely going to help. Especially since I'm saving a whole lot of weight up front. I need to lose a little weight in the tail. So you can see there the autopilot, not the autopilot, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the elevator. Um, it's not a bell crank, but you see the pivot point there. <clears throat> where the push rod uh, actually connects from the bottom, and there's going to be another big one that goes to the back that actually attaches to the elevator horn. So in the front of that is where I'm mounting this. So the RV-10 has the same two big center ribs that go down the you know the back of the tail cone there. Um, and normally it has more holes drilled because it has some nut plates. So it's already got two spare holes. So what I did was I attached those, and then I put the, the plate down, and then match drilled a couple of holes into the rib flanges on the side. And then I can mount it with uh, screws and nylock bolts. Uh, there's four holes that get drilled in the center, and those attach to the little mounting plate you can see me working on here, which is really cool. And then it's got two brackets that then hold the ELT down. So here I am in the back of the plane. You know how much I love this, because I'm just waiting any second for me to fall through the through the package compartment floor and we're putting that thing on so here's the real trick with getting this thing on when you're mounting that ELT you got to remember that wherever the if you're going to mount it somewhere else that the plate that you use to mount it on needs to have the holes for it drilled away from where the straps are because when the straps are clamped down you can't get to any of the screws that might be next to it and that was I didn't know I didn't think about that when I was designing it. I was just designing, you know, for the whole pattern that's already in those ribs. So I had to go back and re-drill them a couple of times. But there you can see it all mounted up. It's very happy. Nope, I wasn't quite happy with it. So the back holes are fine. It's just uh, where this thing goes back and forward, it just needs a little bit of adjustment. If you look if you look at the plate now, it's funny. There's actually three sets of holes. Uh, I could well, I could go back and make another one, but hey, you know what I'm calling those? Lightning holes. So. And hey, guess what? Third time's a charm. So now that that's there, the only thing I have to do is worry about the wiring. So I've got the uh, positive and negative power coming in just to keep the battery charged. I think it's like 0 0.0... I think it's like 0.1 amps. It's like 1 watt. And then I've got one data cable coming from the GPS to the ELT because it's not only 121.5, but it's 406, and that has your GPS coordinates when it goes off. So I've got the GPS going back, and that's all you really need is just those four. Oh, and of course the phone line. So there's a phone line that goes in an RJ11 plug. It plugs in from the ELT to that little test squawk device I showed you, and then it goes towards the front where it has the little test or the panel mounted uh, test and on button, so it's pretty pretty sweet. AC ELT E-04, that's, that's the one. All right, and there it is. So, uh, Friday, or I should say Saturday, we're going to get into some more wiring stuff, so 
Hope you guys are having a good week. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.